What's going on peeps and peepins? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Dynamo. Yes, yes, the Dynamo, you heard it right. Now, if you guys um, have been playing the Kobayashi Maru uh, event, this thing, uh, basically what it what it is, is like this ship, the Kobayashi Maru, needs to survive at least level 3? Or was it 5? Uh, I think it was 3 if memory serves me correctly, and everything past that is just like a bonus, but if you go uh, all the way to level 3 and, you know, and survive that, you're going to get one of these Viken vouchers. Now, uh, these things are really good, because um, they're, they're going to give you access to the, um, or at least they're going to um, give you the option to buy like one of these vegan event items that they are putting up uh, these days. And the awesome thing about these things, because they are, um, they're usually like account bound, even though it says character bound on pickup. Uh, this is based off on like, you know, you can only equip one of these times at uh, any single uh, time on your ships, obviously, but you can... Uh, because this thing is like a account unlock, you can grab it on all of your characters under the same account, obviously. So, you know, you only have to do it with one character, get those vouchers and uh, have enough of them. Uh, usually three to, to grab like one of these items. Now, I got three already. Uh, today is Friday, so it only took me like uh, two uh, times to actually grab this thing. So we are definitely going to buy this thing from the exchange or from the uh, weekend event store. There it goes. It's unlocked for this item on, on other characters on this account. That one went too fast. Um, all right, so we got the prolonged engagement power dynamo. That is the correct message or the correct um, 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 uh, naming of this thing. Sorry, couldn't come up with the words. Uh, so we got the prolonged engagement power dynamo. We unlock this item on all our characters as well in this account. Just visit the event store and claim it. Uh, claim it on that. So it's you know it's basically. Uh, like I said, you can unlock this thing in all of your items, in all of your uh, characters. So it is this thing right here. And I was actually... Okay, so you cannot upgrade this thing. That's why that was weird. Alright, so what does this thing do? So the pre prolonged engagement power dynamo is designed to passively capture energy from the routine mechanical operations of combat and convert it into useful electricity that increases your ship subsystem power levels. All right, that's a lot of mumble jumble. At the skirmish, um, as the skirmish endures, the excess power grows until the capacitors are filled. At any time, the console will be activated to temporarily double the accumulated power. However, doing so will flush the capacitors of energy and briefly disable the power proliferation protocol for the Dynamo console. Prolifer... Uh, okay, that one. Uh, every five seconds in combat, you'll get one stack of power Dynamo. Uh, that is going to give you plus one to all power levels at ten stacks maximum. Uh, provide a short duration increase of all your power levels, the strength of which is based upon the current energy being generated by the prolonged engagement power dynamo. So, very nice of these things to give us, uh, like a, um, you know, an increase to your to your power levels. So each five seconds you're going to be in combat, just like the, uh, well. Is it just like the Phoresian, uh What's it called? I think I have it unlocked somewhere. Uh, tr trait. Was it this one? Promise of ferocity basically gives you every for for every four seconds you're going to be in combat is basically the same deal or at least close to it. Um, so this thing has a two minute cooldown, removes all stacks of the power dynamo plus um, zero max to, and current levels. I think this needs to be 10. I think this is a type of plus 10 to, uh, at maximum uh, to all current power levels for 20 seconds, double the amount granted by power uh, dynamo. Uh, this is also part of a space set. So if you have the um, a phaser beam array, I think I have that one, but um, I kind of need to uh, look where it is. Uh, this is going to give us endurance rating. So 7.5% recharge time on all 
bridge officer abilities. So if you equip two of these things, you're going to get a recharge reduction of 7.5% in all bridge officer abilities. That is, that is nice. I like that. Hmm. Kind of need to redo my character right now. Just thinking about these. But this one is phaser based. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to go into space. Maybe uh, start um, like a PvP match or something like that with like one of my other characters to see how many... Uh, if this thing even has like visuals, maybe it has like a blast or something. So I'll be right back with you guys. So we got this thing going and uh, we got another of my characters that is like auto firing on my on my ship on the back. So we got seven of these stacks. The dynamo power. I don't see like oh we do right here. We do have like an act activatable thing. All right, we are at stack 10, so that's like the maximum amount. So if you guys want to keep your eyes right here on these uh, power levels, they should increase. So here we go in three, two, one. Oh, nice visuals. All right, 120, 74, and 58. So we got also a countdown going lower and lower. So 120, 74, and 58. All right, that should remove 120, 74, and 58. So basically 20 plus 20. Nice. And that has to do with me, because I also equipped the, um, the other uh, two-piece set. So it basically doubled. It's not plus 10, but it's plus 12 to, uh, plus 20 to your power level so that's that's awesome because this is now part of a space set and i put it right here um to gain uh the set bonuses um and also 7.5 percent in recharge time reduction into bridge officer abilities that is nice this is awesome 7.5 percent is a lot but um yeah, I mean, not a lot to say about this thing. Um, it's basically just like the plasmonic leech, or at least the activatable part, because uh, the plasmonic leech is like active like the whole time. But this thing is like um, activatable, so every time you are in combat, and it should give me like there it goes. It gives me like the ten stacks already. Now you just have to wait for the. Uh, cooldown timer to uh, to end um, so that's nice only the only down part that I'm seeing right now um, now if this thing had some kind of like um, like a faster faster ability right here these these whoa why did it why did it shoot back Ooh, it's shooting back. What? Why is it shooting back? Oh, that's probably one of my trades or something. That's kicking off. Anyway, um Yeah, the only down the down down, the only What? Why is it shooting back? I'm not activating anything. What is this? Go away. Um, <laughs> sorry, this is turning out to be like a funny video. <laughs> the only, the only uh, down part of this console, if you're going to equip it, what I'm seeing right now is it doesn't have like, I don't know, like some kind of like damage resist or anything like that when these stacks are going to be built up. So let's say at 10 stacks, if it's going to give us like some kind of damage resist to whatever, um, um, like kinetic or energy based damage. What is this? Why is it firing? Yeah, that was just weird. But anyway, if it had like some kind of like build up of, you know, damage resist to this particular uh, energy type of beam, that would be that would be definitely awesome. 
And two minutes for this is, for me personally, just a little bit long on the long side. If it couldn't, you know, if it somehow could be like, you know, lower down, that would be, uh, that would definitely be amazing. But still, you know, plus 20 to your current all power levels for the next 20 seconds. That thing I like. That is definitely cool. Anyway, that's it for this part. Um... This is a console, you cannot upgrade, it is what it is, maybe, no, I don't think that they're going to put marks on this thing uh, later on, because um, it doesn't have any, you know, it doesn't have any purpose to, to actually be a mark 10, 12, 14, 15, whatever, this is just going to give us plus one per stack of five seconds in, in, uh, in combat, so that's it, that's it, this thing is... Uh, is what it is and it's not going to be uh, enhanced any further or at least I don't think they're going to enhance it because then they have to they have to like increase the power levels with each level of this of this uh, universal console so I don't see them actually um, giving this thing the option to uh, to uh, to level up Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun and entertainment coming out of my channel. I would love to see you on the next video. For now, take care and later.